Welcome to the Deep Dive into Excel Tables. My name is Erin Olson. I've been facilitating people finding their passion for technology for more than 19 years, and that includes Excel. This course is called a Deep Dive, but don't let that scare you. Most people don't go to the high platform and dive into the deep end of the pool their very first time. Most start at the edge of the pool itself, learn the basics, and then progress. We'll do the same thing here. Now, I'll be honest with you. When I first started using computers, I didn't like Excel too much. It wasn't that it was necessarily anything bad. I just had this math phobia left over from college, and I mistakenly equated Excel with math and let it intimidate me. That was unfortunate since Excel actually makes math easy. I got over that a long time ago, probably best illustrated by my first Microsoft Office Specialist Master Instructor certification way back with Office 97. And yes, that was Office 1997. In any event, bringing us up to the current time, this particular series has very little to do with math of any kind. It's more about data in Excel and our manipulation of it so that we can work faster, more efficiently, and more accurately than doing things manually. As you'll learn, that is the power of tables. You may be an experienced Excel user, having come to terms with rows and columns, formulas and functions, naming and the like years ago. But whether that's you or you're a fairly new user of this amazing software who wants to get efficient and accurate fast, there are little tips, tricks, and occasional nuances with tables that can make the difference between using Excel and taking full advantage of all it offers to enhance your efforts and output with grace. We're going to start off poolside with the foundations of tables before we move to the low and then on to the high board, so to speak. But even though we're covering all aspects of Excel tables, we are not covering all aspects of Excel itself. There is an assumption if you want to dive that you already know how to swim. If you don't, you'd be better off getting acclimated in the shallow end before heading to deeper water. That's why they have those wonderful little ropes with floaters separating the two areas in the pool. Here, we're assuming you're fairly comfortable with foundational skills. That would include things like adding and editing cell values, formatting cells, creating formulas and functions, naming Excel elements. If you don't have confidence in those skills, you might want to go ahead and review the foundational Excel training videos before tackling these topics. On the other hand, if you're the kind of person who figures the best way to learn to swim is just to be thrown into the pool, where you either sink or swim, then you can throw yourself right into this series as well, whether you have Excel experience or not. We'll offer lots of lifelines along the way if you need them. I think we all know the possible outcomes with that approach, and one of them at least is actually not that bad. As a matter of fact, it's good. In this series, we're going to revisit some of those basic Excel techniques as they apply to tables and introduce a lot of additional functionality that tables provide that ordinarily ranges just don't. So if you're ready to advance your Excel skills, possibly to places you didn't even know existed before, let's go ahead and get started with our deep dive into Microsoft Excel tables.